In fact, the only thing that looks like Dicky is you. Hardly. Hmm. So, have you done something to your hair? Is there something you'd like to say, Freddie? What? Do you have something you'd like to say? I think I'm saying it. Something's going on. It's always seemed bizarre to me that fiction should divide itself into protagonists and antagonists because it's so not what the world is. The world so insists upon complexity and degrees of differences and, and similarities. It's everything is so finely shaded in nature and in human beings. Somehow we're locked into this idea of fiction of there being you know, clearly delineated bad people and clearly delineated heroes and heroines. And I've never wanted to write that way. I've never wanted to judge character. I've always wanted to surrender judgment to another jury, which is the jury of the audience. Throughout his filmmaking career, Anthony Mengele has always given his audience the opportunity to believe his characters are more than just fiction. Lean's epic adventures, Lawrence of Arabia and Dr. Shivago, give the audience the same opportunities, revealing several different aspects of characters to create an authentic portrayal on a truly epic scale. If you have purpose when you point a camera, if you know what it is you're trying to see, that there's some out, something bleeds into the negative because it speaks to audiences everywhere. And that's both exciting and salutary because then you realize how few moments in a film you have that degree of purpose. You know, and it makes you therefore want to, to make sure that every single shot you collect in a film is full of the same intention and strength. If you really look at movies, they are defined by this very small series of key images. I think that David Lean is clearly somebody who's had a huge influence on me. I certainly imagined when I was making The English Patient what David Lean would have made of the film and, and the, the brilliant way that he could manipulate the small and the large, you know, the very intimate story in the epic landscape. And I think that what I realized as a writer when I started to direct films was that the film sentence is a very interesting thing because it can flex from the intimate to the, to the large. That's the great thing about movies. It's how they can take you right into the, the you know, serious, intimate close-up into somebody's eye, and then it can show you the whole the whole world. And and David Lean, I think, was one of the directors who most understood the possibility of the small and the large. I mean, I think he also was a great user of music, you know, Lara's theme and all the sort of the sort of idea that if you heard a particular theme, you would conjure the film, and that seems to be one of the roles of of the composer. Just a wonderful organizer of the film landscape.